We've all experienced a lot in the last year or two of 2020 and 2021. Everyone faced a different level of challenge or adversity regarding their family, their personal life, their work life, their income, their standard of living. These things affect us in a very interpersonal way that is hard to communicate to other people. And it's hard to have people to share those with, especially when you're in pain. And that's just difficult conversations that most people sweep under the carpet. They don't want to be vulnerable and share that. But actually, I believe vulnerability is a beautiful thing. As a retired athlete, uh, we tend to lose our identity. And because society tells us uh, how great we were for uh, playing basketball or throwing a football or whatever it is. And so um, I like to say that athletes die twice. And uh, in my second life, I've learned that the purpose and values is everything. And so through my conversations and interactions with Matt, uh, he shared with me something that was called the intentional path. And so it was, uh, it was really his, his intentional way of determining how he is, his work life, his family life, his, his work in the community, um, how he forges that and what that does to align with his purpose and his values. I also appreciate your vulnerability. Uh, it's important to, to share our past together and, and oftentimes in a world that's uh, closed off. Uh, I've appreciated how even in a short period of time, uh, you've been vulnerable with me. The best part of being vulnerable is it allows for deeper relationships. The greatest accomplishment I have isn't business, it isn't, you know, it isn't the things that I have, it's the relationships that I've built. Because that's what motivates me every day. It's my children, my, my partnership, my wife, my family, the people that I've built great relationships with, not with an agenda in mind, but with love as the foundation.